you know, think what is going on. And I didn't go to Lord Padraig about it because he's already got enough on his plate about the kobolds and, and the caravans and losing all of these supplies for the town. So it is partly my fault for not going to him. But then again, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bother, bother the poor man because he already had enough on his plate. So. I'm going to give her a heads up saying, well, <clears throat> he, he may come ask you a question or two because he, he was wondering about that. We, we, we knew you were in, we knew you knew about the disturbed graves, so we did mention it to him. So he may come ask you about it. Um, I'm sure he probably will. <laughs> she, she just says, "Oh boy." Thank you Not for the really. heads up. Uh, no problem. So uh, she can give you she can give you two vials of of holy water. Wa holy water, two vials. I don't know if I have the. Uh, let me check. See if I have holy water. One second. Do you have any healing potions? Healing potions I do not have right now. We got to get some uh, from the store then. Yeah, let's go to the store after this. Holy water I do not have. But I will so have a holy water card. So let's go with the standard card. 5e version. Uh, no, it, it's in a, I believe it's in a Morning Canaan's, I believe. I think it's in Morning Canaan's. That, yeah, it's, it, boy, that's one spot where it's at. <clears throat> yeah. Where? Yeah. I've looked up before. Yeah, Morning yeah, Canaan's Clark. has all tons of, no, I'm, I'm going to make a card for it while we go on break. So, we'll go on break at about 10, and then I'll make the card for Holy Water. When, uh, and then when you guys come back, I'll have it, I'll have it already made, so. Ren, you're a cleric. You can bless water. <clears throat> Actually, it's a ritual in 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 uh, 4e to it make is. holy water. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I don't have that um, ability yet. All right. Well, let's head to the store and get our gear that we need. And I want to I want to go to the smithy and see if uh, see if he's heard anything. He's a fine dwarf. <laughs> he's been busy. I'm sure he's been busy trying to <laughs> equip what uh, citizens can hold a can hold a weapon or wear armor. That's where all these okay, so children's these... parents are. Um, before I turn to leave to go again, I hand um, I hand the priestess uh, twenty two gold pieces. Oh, thank you. She bows to you. May the blessings of the gods be well you. to you. Thank May the you. blessings of the gods. <laughs> All right. Everything helps. Everything will help the temple. Everything will help uh, my colleague Tammy Elfay. Bake here. <laughs> Wait 30 seconds. <laughs> you didn't even notice that. Did you guys hear that? Uh, Tammy L. Fay. I did. Tammy Faye, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's that guy? She loves to Where's wear makeup that, uh, from Fallcrest. Yes, Dwarf. Shipping. There's a shipping. Oh, I'm talking to my mates here. Sorry. Uh, oh. She goes we off need to visit that. Piddling with the kids and... Shooing the goats we off need of the to altar. Visit, <laughs> we need to uh, visit. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, that one storekeeper. Barrowin. Supplies. Yes. Yeah. I, I want to visit him as well. Okay, let's <clears> get <throat> on it. May the God, may the gods bless all of you. She goes back to you. you know. May more than make you rich. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have no use for for money. You buy well, to help other dwarf. people. I, no, she doesn't say that to you. You guys leave. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. So you head over to Bear Ones, I guess, the Grand Shop. Yep. Okay. Yep. So you get you get over to uh you get the Bear Ones. And Bear Ones there. You know, he has to, you know, the, the, the door is locked. It, it's closed. He, you know, peeks through the curtain and 
And he goes, ah, yes, yes. And he, he opens up the door. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry to bother what, what you. Do I you know need? there's a... Uh, we found some stuff I believe that belongs to you. Are, are, you, are you here to buy more healing potions? You almost cleaned me yeah. out last some time. Some of them might be. Wow. I've got I, a couple uh, more. I pull out the... Uh, the pack, the couple packages I grabbed from, from uh, the ship oh. to keep. And I say, I believe these belong to you. And where did you find these? Well, we found them in the Shadowfell Keep. Uh, the Inside people have been, the, the keep. people have been raiding. Yeah, the people have been raiding your caravans. Probably store were storing them there. These were supposed but, uh, to go to Fallcrest months ago. Probably up to well, five, six months ago. There's actually more stuff there, too. We just, this is just a little bit of what I could bring back for you. Um, Cyclone, thank you very much for the follow, Cyclone. I wouldn't Appreciate suggest it. anyone out there to grab them right now. It's not a good time to do that, but once uh, once all this madness is taken care of... How much is there? Be more than w oh, there's a room that has... Quite a bit of stuff of yours in it. Oh my god. I say, uh, good news. Three, four wagons. Oh my god. Three, goodness. four wagons full. Our, our one dwarf. <laughs> he just kind of cackles a little bit. <laughs> what I need from you. One dwarf. Is, uh, Never mind. He, he didn't healing get it. potion. And I want to exchange some gold for platinum. Mm, ooh, platinum. Wow, platinum. Dwarf platinum is is rare in the Vale. I could probably. Ex how much are you wanting to exchange? Well, I got three hundred and seventy <laughs> gold. So. Uh, what a good time to shit. This town's in peril, and he's wanting to exchange platinum for gold. Thirty <laughs> platinum for three hundred gold. Uh, handy. It's. Uh, I'll give you. Three platinum for three hundred gold. All right. And as each platinum is worth about a hundred gold, so I I will give you three hundred gold. You give me three hundred gold. I will give you three gold, three platinum. <laughs> fair trade. Three hundred huh? gold, 300 for, three gold, gold. for three. <laughs> Sounds like a fair bargain to me. And only at bear ones. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I once did a trade with this with this great goblin named Splug. I actually got quite a few platinum pieces from him at one point here. He was a very kind a very kind goblin. How how I wish I could see Splug again. He was he was a good <laughs> goblin. Shush, Dave, okay, I'm already about to cry, okay? I feel bad, man. Okay, I feel bad about what I did. I, I turn around and give him a dirty look. Hey, what's up, Weeping Jay? How, I'm, uh, how are you doing? Tonight, I'm going to also say to I, I have some things that you may be interested in. Here's some curiosities. Oh, per thank se, you. That we found thank you very much for the kind of words, Urgent Puddle. I appreciate and it. And I, uh, I pull out my um, vial or what do you want to call it? A jar of uh, the blue jelly ooze and the ochre jelly ooze that, that, and the uh, the Kruthic eyes that I took oh, from the monster sound. Oh. I, I was wondering if you'd be uh, maybe interested in purchasing these. Ah, I'm sure you could find someone who might want them. That would have been great. Splug was a master wizard and alchemist. He could have done all I, He could do things like with these items. Let me send a messenger out to his small village in the Cairngorm Peaks. Maybe I can help you with that. Splug was such I a great you, goblin. Dave. I hate you so much, Dave. I hate you so much, man. <laughs> oh, I had big plans crying for you and Splug, inside, man. Uh, Oh, you're crying on the inside. Man. I'm crying on the inside because now i got to come up with another character for this content that I wrote. I'm so sorry. Man. I don't care. So it's sorry. all good. That's what I love about, you know, all, all kidding aside, you know, it, it's awesome to see what the players do because no matter how much you prep for a game, how much you think you know about something, your players are just going to freaking do something that is <laughs> uh, 
something that you never would have thought of. Like, I never would have figured somebody would have killed a Splug. I figured you would have beat the hell out of him, maybe set him loose or nothing, because I was going to bring Splug back later, because I figured you were going to set him free. But when you when you stuck him like a pig, I was like, oh my god, I didn't expect it. But it's awesome. I'm just ribbing you, dude. But Splug was a master wizard. I had him... You know he he did uh, he did tell you that uh, he was a master wizard, but he did not tell you he was a master alchemist as well, because you guys had been collecting all of those things, and he was going to actually make some stuff for you. But unfortunately, Splug's de- <laughs> Splug is dead. So I was like, oh no, because when all you right, said turn around, give him another dirty look. Because when you turned around, well, when you actually said, hey Dave, I sent you a tell back, and when I read the tell. And the first three words were, I kill him. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell, tell everybody what your tell was, seeing that it's already past point. This is, this is like the funniest shit ever, Leopold. This is, I kill him, <laughs> take my money back, and walk to the party. That was so good. I was like, oh, my God, Splug is dead. The adventures of, of Splug and Leopold Kane. <laughs> that would have been a great, awesome couple one-shots. That would have been great. We'll have to do it again later. <sighs> Poor Splug. May he rest in peace. <clears throat> so, you know, you could, uh, I'll talk. To, I'll tell you what you can do about later, Dave. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, we'll talk <laughs> about it. You get, uh, you get three platinum gem for your three hundred gold. You know, because in four e, one platinum. Thank is, you very uh, much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And well, I got a potion too, fifty gold. Well, I appreciate the uh, the even the slightest comparison to Chris Perkins. That is, he is like the man. Chris Perkins is the man. I'll buy a healing potion as well. Okay. Uh, he tells you that uh, if it is true, and you have found uh, some of my stock, then <laughs> he sets four potions up on the counter, and he tells you that. He will give you these four potions up front um, because you have done the town well. You, you did take care of the kobold problem. And he will give you these. And these are the only healing potions that he has left. And he, he actually goes on to say, I think these may be the four, four last healing potions in the whole town. And unless the sister, s- sister Lenore, unless she's got some hiding over there her way. Which is possible. Probably healing potions uh, for probably Lord Padragon in case of a serious injury to him. I suppose you'd be willing to uh, purchase this other curiosity that I found, would you? Uh, what other curiosity it is, is that? And all of a sudden you guys start to hear... The, the slime and... At the, the West the, Wall! The, the at oozes. the West Wall! And then it goes quiet uh, after... After about 30 seconds of ruckus, you guys go over to the, the window and kind of look out, and you can see a couple people firing arrows off of the top ramparts, and, you know, a couple screams coming from outside, and then, you know, it goes back to being silent. And then, you know, Barrowin says, and, oh, I'm sorry, excuse, something must happen. I said, what, 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 what do you have? What do you have, Mr. Bioter? I got this ooze, and I got these Kruthic eyes. Hmm. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I, I I can't do anything with these, but Splug could have. I, I just. All right, I'll hold I, on I just, to them then. <clears throat> but I'm sorry, I, I will rephrase that. I'm I'm not trying to meta game, but uh, Splug can <laughs> do something with those. <laughs> he, he is the one that I'm sure made these potions, have. actually. Let's go to the wizard. And I say to him, do you have any uh? You're curious. You have you have any magic what was so long swords here at all? Do you? <clears throat> Roll a. Uh, I'm gonna let you be the judge of this. Roll a d100. I'll give it about a 10. percent I'm just chance. looking for a, like a long sword plus one. Yeah, I'll give it a 10 percent chance. Roll a roll a a, a one to one to ten, and he'll have one. I'll give it a 10 percent chance. Seeing that it is Winterhaven, and you know. Times of peril. The, the city's being ransacked by undead, and Gim's exchanging platinum for, for gold. I love um, it. It's yeah. totally a dwarf, dude. Oh, no. He 
he tells you that uh, he doesn't have a he does not have any any kind of magic items at all. It, all with right, all then. of the the caravan sacking, I I just have not been able to get anything lately. All right. Well, should we go see if they need our help out there, guys? Uh, I just gotta say this, Dave. I was expecting you to say, but Splug, <laughs> but Splug, he would have had like hundreds and hundreds of magical items. Splug. I really was expecting that. Splug. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> he had this magical pouch. He called it some bag of holding, and he would just pull out endless potions out of this bag. Oh uh, dear. I turn around. That's uh, it. I just killed myself. That's Leopold. it. I just, I, just, oh. yeah. and I, just, I hate you. <laughs> just, right here. Right here. I just carry, carry. Just end it all. Just. <laughs> we could go back and try and revive him. Mm. Hey, Dave. Uh, I wanted to ask him if he had any um, Featherlay armor. Oh, I, and, I wouldn't uh, find know out that how here. much it would cost. You could probably get something that uh, like that, and possibly Fall Crest or, or definitely uh, Hammerfast. Hammerfast has a lot of okay. arms. But I, I, I just have basic leather and whatever I had. Lord Padrag basically took it from me anyway. <laughs> okay, and in need uh, of the I in need of to... the town, you know. Okay, and the only thing else I had uh, wanted to get from him was. Uh, 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 a long, a short sword, normal short sword, and also some uh, uh, sling bullets. Sure. And Whatever you need, regular equipment. Go ahead and just deduct your money, add it to your sheet. And okay, cool. You'll be, you'll be golden. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. You want to go ahead Thank and you. if we're all done buying, you want to go take a break now? No, yeah, is it t is it ten o'clock already? It is. It's ten o three. Yep. Gosh, man, doesn't time fly by when you're having fun? And who says there's no role playing for <laughs> e? I just psh, 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 psh. We still so gotta talk to the my, my goal is to make a Zovia waste her boon in the underworld by not doing any fighting tonight. I I, I would refund Zovia because she would totally <laughs> punch goal. me right in the baby maker <laughs> if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she. <laughs> I could totally see that. Ve Ve is ruthless. <laughs> We still need to talk to the wizard. You got a you got a wand you want to sell him, right? I know I'll keep the one for now. He could actually use that and get a like a plus bonus to implement spells and such. And a damage crit well, bonus. Well, we gotta tell the wizard what's going on so he might be able to help us. Yo, information? <clears throat> well, I think at the moment, uh, there may Young be some... Yeah, thing. Yeah, we may need to go to the West Wall. Well, we'll take care of business there and then go see the wizard. How's that sound? Let's, uh, let's take, a, take that break for the 10 o'clock break, and then we'll come back and we can okay. leave up, pick up there. Any quick, uh, merchant, uh, doings that you need to do before we go on a break? That's it? Because uh, the west no, wall was the I west wall was quiet. Anything. It was just something that uh, a couple couple undead charged the wall. Were taken down by archers. Nothing, nothing major. A couple guards went outside, took the the undead that that tried to you know basically scale the wall of of the wooden walls of Winterkeep. But you know they just threw him into the the fire pit on the west you know outside of the west wall. So. But all right, we'll take a uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll uh, we'll continue. So you guys want to? I guess you guys want to head to the graveyard then, check things out.